Hello everyone, welcome. This is Sun and Moon Energy. I go by the name of Sylvie when I'm here reading energy for y'all. And I'm sorry, I took a personal day yesterday. I um, hope y'all are doing okay. I really missed y'all and I'm sorry, but I'm back today. I'm gonna do um, a bunch of readings today, including member readings. But first, let's do a reading for Gemini. This reading is for Gemini, but you know, all are welcome here. If something speaks to you, you're more than welcome to it. I've already done a pre-shuffle of all the decks and meditated on the energy surrounding uh, Gemini and their money. And at the, after the pre-shuffle and cutting the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands noted behind there. Uh, Temperance card, also, a Temperance card came out in the pre-shuffle uh, in this deck. And then uh, ten, of, uh, 10 of Swords, 7 of Swords, Chariot. 7 of Swords was lurking some in this deck, um, showing its face at, during the pre-shuffle. And then we have, for the overall energy, uh, the Queen of Coins at the bottom of the deck here, 7 of Wands, and the World card. Overall energy, the Page of Wands came out multiple times in uh, these two decks, and I really feel like I was getting that you're ha you're having to walk away from something. Pardon, the light's going to go in and out, and I just don't know how to, on my camera, like, adjust it so it automatically adjusts it. Like, I keep thinking I'm doing that, and I don't, anyway, I'm so sorry. Um... But I'm getting this energy that you're definitely walking away. I was hearing a dead end. So whether that be a job, some type of, um, wow, too many cards. <laughs> um, business opportunity. But we have, look, we have the queen of coins here as the overall energy. This is, uh, you know, earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody who's very um, resourceful, um, there's a bounty in their hands and they created this bounty themselves. And I feel like with that seven of wands behind it there, it's saying, and the world, it's saying that this is after a, you know, a lot of hard work, a major cycle, lover's card wanting to show their face. Also with that temperance card, I was definitely getting a healing energy of you like really having to like, kind of like stand up for yourself. More about this energy, Gemini and their money. Thank you. Moon card. It's water energy. I mean, we're in it. I know I'm in it. I just, I don't know. I must have cancer or water energy in my chart somewhere. Because, like, I just remember this time last year getting, like, feeling just over-emotional. <clears throat> I'm much better today. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Gemini's, too, like, we really can, you know, that dude's like, woo. We can kind of swing. And I look, I'm almost getting that here, right? With the swing. And then look, what did I say? The Page of Wands came out. That came out in both decks, did I not just say? Um, a minute ago. So I was feeling like there's some type of opportunity coming in. I don't know if I said that, but I was feeling like there's some type of opportunity coming in after you walk away from this, this dead end. And yeah, with that chariot card, is just getting this energy, like, thing, things will, like, pick up momentum, or there'll be opportunities, and with this moon card, I am getting, like, this sort of, like, you're navigating these, these, uh, dark woods, and, you know, your intuition is guiding you here with the moon there, and I think it's really interesting, because aren't we kind of, like, in this, like, well, it's like, what's right after it's, it's waxing, right, when it's, like, going like this after the new moon? You know, and it's like we were probably thinking about setting our intentions for the month, like what we want to, like, maybe accomplish. And I feel like here it might be walking away from something that just, like I said before, it's a dead end for you. It's not working. Whatever it is, it's not working. And here I noted, you know, it's like that third, your third eye is open here, but also I feel like you're, it's, you're divinely protected. The universe has your back. Oh my gosh, Gemini! Whoa. Okay. I feel like this is very important because did I not say, and you can rewind, that the Page of Swords, uh, Page of Swords, Page of Wands came out in both decks, but I think it's interesting that it came out in this deck because in this deck it's, it's depicted as there's two, you know, so the masculine and feminine, uh, masculine and fe feminine. Uh, the Daughter of Wands and the Son of Wands here. 
I feel like there's something coming in here. There's somebody coming in with a message. There's some type of opportunity. <clears throat> I do feel like it's it's almost like there's growth here. There's there's growth after this dark time. I almost just like got this energy with this like branch behind her. <coughs> Pardon. Okay, Gemini. Sorry about that. At the bottom of the deck, um, we have a match here with the uh, King of Pentacles or King of Coins as depicted in this deck. Uh, what I was saying before um, I started, it's just dry. The fan's like right on me, so I was like inhaling the fan as I was talking. Because my eyesight's really poor. Um, this little branch that's behind her that has this dove on it, I'm assuming it's a dove. It almost looked like laser beams coming out of her eyes, and I'm just getting this really powerful energy. And then look here, with how the King of Pentacles is depicted here, it's like this like energy. I don't know. Again, I this card came out for you where I was saying there's this energy of like something circulating, something like it's really flowing naturally, like as in the balance here in this Temperance card. And then we have the Fool here with the Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands. I really like this energy. More about this um, Two of Wands. More about this Two of Wands. I do feel like this is... There's an opportunity here. I don't need to really... I think this will clarify that opportunity. It's almost like one and one is two. So there could be a partnership here. I'm getting two trees here with the moon giving me partnership energy. Especially because we saw um, the King of Pentacles there show his face. beautiful. Look at both of these cards here. These are like, this energy is telling me that the universe, you know, is with you here. These are like angels, you know, and it was, that's really interesting and I don't want to like get really intense and heavy here, but when I was meditating on the energy and just thinking, you know, uh, spirits, guides, angels, and specifically my ancestors for being here. I really felt the presence of my mother who has passed away, um, more than several years ago. And I do get this like angelic energy here, Gemini, of somebody in your past, perhaps an ancestor, sibling maybe, um, or even a parent, grandparent, aunts, uncles, somebody here who you feel, I feel like is really, has your back here, is guiding you. I don't know why, but I just like put that card here, even though I really asked for it for the two wands. And I, it just, it's telling me the energy, I'm right, you know, it's like the universe has your back. And spirit has your back and and you're getting through something here you're you're rising above it a new day is dawning here more about this future energy for gemini and their money gemini and their money i do feel like this is coming in soon i'm getting a lot of two energy here like a singular and then a, and then a wow <laughs> page of pentacles just flew out that way it's some type of opportunity. There's definitely some type of opportunity here. Ten of Cups wanted to show its face. Beautiful, Gemini. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's signaling a partnership as well there. And look, Page of Cups. All these pages, you have four pages here, Gemini. This is, this is... I'm getting, like, a new energy. I'm getting a... a, a a new beginning energy. I'm getting a new opportunity to feel um, just happy. Like doing things and more. It's just a lot of opportunity and it also could be uh, opportunity for a creative venture to take off, I'm hearing. I mean there could be a partnership here but we'll we'll clarify. One more card for this energy, thank you. Wow. 
So the world card, and then we have the five of swords in reverse. Beautiful, Gemini. Yeah, I think it's like, what did I say about walking away from something that was a dead end, right? Did I not say that there with that ten of swords that I felt that and that seven of swords? Yeah. And with the world card, it's like for so many of you, I feel like we're you're you're in some ending of some type of cycle of where things have been really um, difficult, and there's been a lot of challenges. And with that five in reverse noted, it's really interesting because I did three rolls on the die, and the first two rolls were nines, and then this roll was a five. And I was like, okay, there's been a lot of struggles, there's been a lot of challenges, but I feel like that's coming to an end. And I feel like that's the energy here, Gemini. And then, <laughs> you can't make this shit up! <laughs> Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you have the, the the daughter and the son of Pentacles here, and then the daughter and son of Wands here, with the daughter of Cups here. I bet you if I kept shuffling, we'd get the other page. Gemini, this is like, I'm getting like whirlwind. I'm getting whirl. Look, what did I say about this person being so abundant here, you know? And wait a minute. Look, we have double worlds here, Gemini. Holy crap. This is earth, heavy earth energy. This is really like successful, um, powerful energy. Really reaching for, um, this is like pow pow. I'm getting like, this is like reaching for the stars I'm getting here. I'm gonna clarify. <gasps> that page of cups, I love it another page of cups. This is just offered. I'm hearing like this is like opportunity upon opportunity coming in for you. Can you tell us more about this opportunity? The four of pentacles. That's the second time now the four of pentacles has come out. I I mean why the devil card for this opportunity? Or is it just you reaching? You're coming. You're like yeah, that three of pentacles wanted to show its face and it's interesting cuz that came out in the pre-shuffle. And I just could feel like maybe this is something that is getting you out of, it's like getting you unstuck, I'm hearing. Yeah, Ace of Swords, beautiful. It's getting you unstuck. I love it. It's This is perfect. This is the end of that cycle. You're done. And it's clarity, and it's you being able to, like, have this, like, this is, like, breathing room, I'm hearing. So... Especially with this financial abundance here and the success coming in, I really do feel like, yeah, wow, Gemini, whoa. So we have the King of Wands, the Death card, the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. I'm not going to take them all. Look, Eight of Pentacles, though, Gemini loaded. Whoa. I'm sorry. I, I hurt my hand the other day, so I'm, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I'm just honestly don't feel, I'm just such a klutz. And I like close the door on my hand. <laughs> I'm okay, but anywho, um, with the Ten of Cups here and that Eight of, eight of Pentacles, I just feel like yeah, <coughs> you're gonna be so good, Gemini. Tell us more about this this Ace of Swords. <laughs> Gemini, this is amazing. Oh my god, I didn't even realize we're so out of focus here. What is going? On. Okay, see how I just like can't even. Yeah. Okay. This is incredible. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck with that Seven of Swords and then the Queen of Cups. This is just telling me, yeah. This is a powerful new beginning here, Gemini. Sorry, I'm getting so excited. It's a, it's a definitely a very powerful new beginning here. I don't even really think I need to pull any more cards. I think this is like telling me right here that this opportunity, um, and again, what did I say about this, this, the singular and double energy we have again with one and one is two. I just like, and I mean, I know, like, don't laugh at me. Like I know, <laughs> but I'm just, <laughs> I'm so silly. 
but those numbers it's just specifically about the number the number that you know the number one and number two hangman and the king of cups oh i like this energy i feel like somebody has been um there definitely could be a partnership here I feel like somebody has, um, this is double water energy, double water energy. I feel like it's giving you some type of, what did I say about a creative opportunity? Something that you've been waiting for. This is something that's going to allow you to really shine. And this could also be a partnership as well, because with the King of Cups here, I mean, you know, there could be some romance here. But I feel like this is more about you doing something that really is close to your heart it's doing what you love it's a creative opportunity and it's gonna you're it's good you're gonna make bank with it I'm gonna leave it here this is amazing energy I just want to say thank you all so so much for watching sharing liking subscribing appreciate you so much all your comments um, words of encouragement I really appreciate y'all also just for sharing your own stories so um, yeah, I really appreciate y'all. And the, for those of you that have donated, um, I appreciate y'all so much. You really have made a difference in my life. And um, I just, I'm really super grateful. Thank you. I hope y'all have a great night. Bye.